Today being it's Tuesday, December 13th after 6.30 p.m., uh, I will be opening up the Hadley Conservation Commission. First on the agenda, uh, do we have a copy of that prior, the campers? Uh, yep, I have a copy of the copy minutes, of the minutes from September, for okay. September 13th meeting. So, what was not on the agenda for tonight, it was a mistake. Uh, so we cannot take it up, but we had continued till tonight. Um, request for determination of applicability of 13 South Branch Road. Eight different property owners submitted a request for determination of applicability applications for placing seasonal campers RVs at 13 South Branch Road. The board requested a survey plan of the property and trailer placement. Gordon Smith made a motion to continue this hearing to December 13th at 6.30 p.m. Seconded by Edwin. All voted in favor. So it did not make the agenda as posted, which means we cannot discuss it, take it up. We were just recently handed uh, a survey plan that we had requested previously. So I will... Uh, we don't have a quorum either tonight. No, I know. I, I see that. But I think we can continue all these because we don't have that. But we're not voting on these. We need a quorum to vote on it. Right. We need a quorum to conduct. So, so we can move the entire agenda. So I'm going to move yeah. the entire agenda. But this will be first up at 630 mm -hmm. on January 10th, Correct. 2023. Uh, we're hoping to get the same meeting room. Yep. So possibly that, the classroom down this, the hall, I think. Yeah. Or the class. We, we yeah. won't know. It I'll, will, I'll put it on the agenda. It will be on the agenda posted where the hearing will be actually held. We're short three members tonight. Mm -hmm. Just Edwin and myself are here. So I'm making basically a blanket continuation of tonight. But first up will be the request for determination of applicability for 13 South Branch Road, followed by the request for determination of 187 Hockenham Road. Oh, pardon me, that's from the previous minutes. I'm oh, yeah, the wrong sorry. <laughs> yep, pardon tonight. Me. Second will be a request for determination of applicability, 87 Rocky Hill Road. We've already continued it tonight. Mm -hmm. For Jason Galvin seeks to establish a half-acre chicken and asparagus farm on his property, 87 Rocky Hill Road. Site visit conduct 1116 by Shiloh Davis and Jason Galvin. And currently, uh, Jason is here tonight, but we're not going to be able to have that hearing, so we're Thank going to continue that. Up. Sorry about that. <laughs> Number two. Actually, excuse me, number three on January 10th. What I forgot to bring up prior to your hearing, because I've got papers mixed here, I'm yeah. very apologetic. Notice of intent for 13 Russell Street redevelopment, DEP file number 170 288. That was also continued till this evening. Mm -hmm. Berkshire Design Group, on behalf of Triangle Properties LLC, is proposing to redevelop the current vacant lot at 13 Russell Street, formerly a gas station to a coffee shop. The lot is 12,197 square feet and resource areas present on site are restricted to AE flood zone, 100 year flood. Mm -hmm. Site visit was conducted 727 by Shower Davis and Doug Sorrell. We had already reached out to those uh, people tonight and they already have requested a, mm -hmm. a continuation to next meeting, mm -hmm. January 10th. So that will be the second one. Mm -hmm. I meant to read that before yours. I'm sorry, Jason. Okay. That should not be a long one either. Yeah. A lot of these we've already discussed with the applicants. It's more of a case where they just got a variance approved by the ZPA, but they have to get final approval from the planning board. Any changes made to their plans by the planning board could impact their notice of intent with the CONCOM. So we'll be the last board to approve them. So that's why we want to continue that. Mm -hmm. Lastly up, we'll be continuing a request for determination of applicability, notice of intent, 56 River Drive. Marjorie Southworth seeks to construct a new residence on the lot. In 2015, file number, notice of intent file number, 170-174 mm -hmm. was approved in order conditions to do similar work, which was never conducted. The current proposed work exists on a smaller footprint and is further from the river. There is a river front, front floodplain and NHESP present on site. An RDA was filed previously and a hearing was held on 11-22-22 for that permit. After communication with the DEP and further consideration, my thinking through the process, an NOI has been recommended because we previously required an NOI for development of that property. An order of conditions was issued, mm -hmm. but it was never executed. So we're gonna have to close out 
the old hearing and, and we're also going to have to do a positive determination for the rda we can do next meeting okay they've already filed for a notice of intent and that's another reason why we couldn't continue that this evening is they don't have a file number for the new project okay you cannot have two open file numbers on a particular parcel as a general rule okay no that makes the, sense. the dep has allowed it but it's usually you want to close out any prior permits before you issue a new one. So Will they have to refile and pay for pay for it and stuff? They'll have to pay the NOI fee. Yeah. But normally an RDA can be done in, in, in before, it will determine whether an NOI has to be filed. They should have just gone to an NOI. We should have, we should have, uh, myself, I'll, I'll take some blame. I probably should have told them they should have just done an NOI to begin with. Well, they, I didn't realize, they, they're not going to I didn't realize back in 15 that we did an NOI. I thought we might have done a request back then. Okay. We didn't do our due diligence as a board. Okay. I'll take the heat yeah. for that one. Okay. So we're going to continue all those hearings on January 10th. Yeah. And we're not going to take up any other business this evening. Yep. So being I'm going to make, I can't really make a motion to adjourn because we don't have a quorum. <laughs> I'm just going to ask that we adjourn for this evening for January 10th at 630. Yep site to be determined, agenda to be posted, and the Zoom link will be on the agenda.